topic for today is moment distribution method or MDM. So our formula here would be DM, which means distributed moment, is equivalent to negative 1 multiplied by our df, which is distributed factor multiplied by our unbalanced moment. So, itong formula to is gagamitin natin on our tabulations. Okay? And then also, we have here carryover moment. For our carryover moment, or we have com, if ever na meron tayo itong fixed end moment, okay, we have point M to J, or probably that is point A to B. Our moment here would be like this. Okay? If this is our carryover moment, MJ. And of course, we have here distributed moment, okay, JM. From point J to M. So, ibig sabihin, ang carryover moment natin dito, Okay, is equivalent to your one-half of your DM. Mamaya, mas maintindihan nyo ito kapag nasa tabulations na tayo. Okay, next. Okay, yung distribution factor natin, maganda ito kapag i-apply na lang natin sa ating um, structure. Mag-draw na lang ako dito ng figure, ha? So, I have to draw this figure Okay, so ito yung figure natin. First thing na gagawin natin is to determine the stiffness. Okay, so stiffness. So, to determine the stiffness, dapat kukunin natin yung joint. So, ano ba yung may joint dyan? Ito po yung may joint, joint B. Ano yung mga adjacent dyan na span? Or yung mga katabi niya na span? So, we have BA, BE, and then BC. Huwag nyo nang kunin yung span hanggang dito sa D. Kung ano lang po yung adjacent dyan or yung consecutive na ating span. So, ito, lagyan lang natin to ng para magmukhang span talaga. Ayan, maglagay lang tayo ng roller natin dyan. Okay, our stiffness here, pagkuha niyan would be K. Kunin natin yung at joint muna. B. KBA. Yung KBA natin is 1.5 I all over 5 meters. Next, we have KBC. Yung KBC natin, since roller yan, okay lang naman kung nasa gitna. Huwag lang yun nasa edge. Pag nasa edge kasi or dulo, magtitreform tayo dyan. So, we have here 2.I or 2I over 6 and then we have KBE. Sabihin naman, this is fixed, so okay lang po ang ating value dyan. So, I over 5. Next, we have summation of your KB. Kasi joint B lang tayo. So, answer 5 over 6I. Okay, next naman natin dyan is to determine your DF factor or distribution factor natin. Lagay niyo po DF and then lagay nyo lang po yung BA, BC, and then BE, then equivalent to, kukunin mo lang tong value na to, we have 1.5i over 5, i-divide mo po doon sa nakuha nyo 5 over 6i. I, I will be cancelled. And then here naman, we have 2i over 6 divided by 5 over 6i. And then last one, we have I over 5 divided by 5 over 6. So, equal lang natin lahat yan. Lahat ng I natin will be cancelled. Okay, yan. Okay, the answer would be 0 0.36, 0 0.4, 0 0.24. Paano nyo malalaman kung tama, niya? tama yan? So, dapat, we have 0 0.36 plus 0 0.40 plus 0 0.24 should be equal to 1. Otherwise po, mali yung sagot nyo if it is negative or less than 1 or greater than 1. Dapat exact 1 yung DF ninyo. Next naman natin is yung kabilang joint. Ano naman yung kabilang joint dyan? We have joint C. Yung C na yan, we have CB and then CD. So, we have at joint C. 
wherein we have stiffness CB. Mapapansin nyo, nag-start ako sa C kasi joint ko ay C. So, ang value na yan is 2I over 6. And then, we have KCD. Yung KCD natin, mapapansin nyo, roller na yan. So, ano gagawin natin? I-reverse nyo na po agad. So, we have 2I okay, over 2 plus 3 is 5. I-multiply nyo agad yan ng 3 fourth. Lahat po ng naka-roller kapag, um, kapag stiffness, i-multiply na agad ng 3 fourth. And then, get your summation case. Ilagay mo po ng reverse para alam ng lahat na ayan ay na-reverse na. And then, the total, 19 over 30 ay. Next, kunin na natin yung DF niyan. Okay. DF lang yung dalawa. So, we have CB and then CD. Kahit hindi mo na-reverse kasi na-reverse mo na yan naman dyan kanina. So, 2I over 6, i-divide yun ng 19 over 30I. Cancel yung I natin. And then, we have here, 6I over 20. Ayusin ko lang ha. Okay. 6I over 20 divided by 19 over 30. So, yung I natin will cancel out. So, the answer would, okay, the answer is 0 0.53 and 0 0.47. This is equivalent to 1, yung DF natin. So, okay na tayo dyan. So, para saan ba yung DF natin? Yung DF kasi natin, later on, gagamitin natin on our tabulation area. Saan yan makikita? Okay? Dito po siya makikita sa ating DF. Mamaya maglalabas tayo ng box. So, gagawa ng box para dyan. Okay, and the other one. Yan po yung mga DF natin. Next, right after yung DF, i-compute naman natin yung tinatawag natin fix and moment. Kung sa 3 moment equation we have load factor dito naman po sa ating MTM, we will be having our fix and moment. So, ilagay natin dito. We have our fix and moment. Or, we have what we call FEM. Itong fix and moment, every span naman to. Example, we have AB. Okay, so sa AB natin, lagay mo dyan, fix and moment AB. Lahat ng left side would be negative and the right side would be positive. And our formula, kapag uniform load, we have W L squared over 12. Kapag, neg kapag nasa um, what do you call this? On the left side, we will be having negative answer. So, on our right side naman would be BA. That is positive WL squared over 12. So, kung i-isolate natin ang dalawang awang spawn na yan, so this is our A and this would be our B. So, it has a 5 kN per meter and then 5 meter distance. This is your fix and moment AB. Okay, that is always negative. And then, this is your fix and moment, okay, BA, which means on the right side, it is always positive. Okay, so meaning... If we substitute all the value here, okay, so we will be having 5 multiplied by 5 raised to 2 divided by 12. So that is equivalent to 10.42 or 4167. So 10.4167. This is negative. So meaning... This is also negative. And then, since parehas lang naman sila ng value, all you have to do is plus 10.4167. So, mas worthy tayo because this is fixed. What if yan ay roller or hinge? So, later, gagawin naman natin pag nasa roller niya tayo. So, yan muna. Next, we have spawn BC. On our spawn BC, the formula here would be fix and moment of your BC and then fix and moment at, of your CB. Since nasa gitna yan, it doesn't matter whether 
uh, i-carry over moment natin. Oh, hindi, basta pag nasa gitna, walang problema. Formula lang tayo dyan. So, formula nito would be WL squared negative pa din over 12. So, that is negative 5 multiplied by 6 raised to 2 over 12. So, yan po yung ating value. So, we have negative 15 kilonewton meter. And then, dito naman sa baba, positive 15 kilonewton meter. Palagyan na lang po ito ng unit. Okay? Dapat may unit lahat yan. Next, we have fixed and moment. Tignan natin ito. We have BE. Itong BE na to. So, as you can see, wala naman siyang loadings, pero kailangan pa rin natin ilagay na ang fix and BE natin and fix and EB natin should be equivalent to 0 kN meter. Okay? And the other one, we have concentrated load, which is yung sa 10 natin na value, and then CD. And then we have fix, fix and moment at... CD. Okay, ito naman po, ang formula naman nito would be yung ating PA on the left side, PAB squared over L squared. And then on the right side naman, we have fix and moment. Okay, DC. DC is equivalent to positive PA squared B over L squared. So, tandaan ha, ito, that is your left, ito namang D, that is your right. Always remember your D is a roller. Kapag roller yan, dapat walang moment yan. So, paano natin i-arrange yan sa ganito po? Unahin muna natin, kunin yung value nito. We have negative P, which is equivalent to fa uh, 10. Yung A natin is 2. This will be our A and then B. And then yung B natin is 3 squared. And then L is 5 raised to 2. So, answer nito is negative 7.2 kilonewton meter. Itong kabila naman, fix and moment. Huwag nyo muna i-reverse. I-compute nyo muna yung value nito. So, we have 10 multiplied by 2 raised to 2. 3 divided by 5 squared. Our fix and moment nito is equal to 4.8 positive. 4.8 kilonewton meter. But wait! Bakit po? Kasi ito, yung D natin is roller. Okay? So meaning, our fix and moment DC, lagyan natin ng reverse, should be equivalent to zero. That is your final answer for your fix and moment DC. However, itong ating fix and moment CD, okay, gagawin natin negative 7.2 ima minus mo po yung kalahati ng ating fix and moment DC, which means that is 4.8. So, our new fix and moment, lalagyan mo po ng reverse para alam natin na reverse yan. We have, answer is negative 9.6. Yan. So, these are your fix and moment. So, pwede nyo i-box para malaman na yan ang ating fix and moment. So, Yan pa lang po ang first step natin on how to get the value or stiffness of your MBM.